You're a cop interrogating someone for murder. You're sure he's the killer. Answer the fucking question. Answer the fucking question. That's great. Motherfucker. That's great. Answer the motherfucking question. Answer the motherfucking question. I fucking smack you in your motherfucking face. That's fantastic. That's what you gotta say. That was good. That's what you gotta say. Yeah. That's what you gotta say. Take that shit right there. Go fuck out of my face. I don't bite. I've had enough. I'm guilty. Right, I'm Sorry. It's okay. What during the first 20 years of life? upbringing, a family structure, education, or what's inside genetically informed your becoming an actor. I think there was that sense of wanting to, wanting to please, wanting to perform, wanting to make people laugh, wanting to entertain. Um, that drive, where that comes from, uh, is, is I, I think a sort of very primal sort of need to, to, to be seen, to be heard, to be felt. You're the 30-year-old father. Your uh, wife and eight-year-old and four-year-old went on a little walk in a picnic area and then into the woods. And somehow, your four-year-old disappeared. And you've looked and looked and looked and looked and looked, and finally your wife gets on the phone and calls the police. The police come, where's the four-year-old, and there's a big to-do, and eventually there's television cameras, and it's been two, three hours where you've desperately looked for her, there's hundreds of people around have looked for her, they haven't found her, and you get on television, and you make a passionate plea, we've got to find her. I thank you. Yeah. If you have any idea where my daughter is, Please. That's great. That's great. Please. When I was nine, I was doing like a lot of local plays and I got into doing comedy. A guy that worked for my father was emceeing an open mic night at this comedy club in Baltimore. And so I went one night and I, I yelled and heckled something out to him. And the comedian who I had met earlier like called me up on stage. But I went up there and I made some comment and got a laugh. And that, that, that sort of, I got that bug. You're the husband of a woman in business. You're 45, you and your wife have been married 15 years. She's a senior vice president of the company and you go to her office to surprise her. You want to bring her flowers for some sort of occasion. And you pop in on her and find her in a passionate embrace with her assistant, Diane. <laughs> Great unexpected surprising. <laughs> Television is a writer's medium. I mean, it is. You know, the writers are boss, and you know, there are there are the producers. They put the finishing touch on the show. It's their show, and so it's their ultimately their vision. And I think a director has to come in and have ideas and have a point of view, but not try to reinvent the wheel. To really make sure that the story is, you know, it stays center and stays focused, and focus on the performances. You're a desperate gambler. You're really addicted, and you're in major debt to mafia loan sharks, and you get a tip from one of your buddies at the track, a sure thing. So you borrowed at the hilt, you're gonna hit it big, you bet it all, the race is on. He's number 12. 12. Yeah, and sometimes number 12 is ahead and sometimes he's behind. And you passionately earn him on and he slowly down the stretch is slightly ahead and then at the last, you know, 100 yards, he loses. Here we go. Here we go. Once more. Let's go 12. Yes, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 
you become the sort of caretaker of your character on a show, there's that level of protecting the character that you feel like you have some ownership over and that you know better than the director because you're there every week doing it. A scream is uh, a sudden, acute, something fearful and horrible and frightening, severely frightening has happened.